Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead, and today we thought it necessary to bring you inside. You've seen us inside here at this spot, uh, this spot before, um, but we wanted to show you exactly what we believe is the absolute ultimate seed starting setup for a small space. Okay, so first of all, you see the wall behind me looks junky. Okay, <laughs> see that? All right, so it looks junky because this is a this is a room we don't need. It's kind of a throwaway room for us, but some storage. And so we've taken a room that we didn't necessarily need, and we have longer term plans for that are different than what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> and we took a, a wire shelf and decided to make this our seed starting room. Okay, and just to let you know, as we get into this, I'm gonna show you what we're using, the equipment we're using, things we've accumulated over time. We didn't buy all this at once. We, we've accumulated over the past four or five years. And we're gonna just show you exactly what it is that we do, how we do it, and how we are going about, or the setup we're using to go about to, to start over 300 plants, okay, for our backyard homestead. When I say plants, I mean vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, uh, we see we start our squashes in here and melons in here um, and we're gonna start herbs as far as basil and we, we plant a ton of basil uh, we we start eggplant and cabbages kales all these things you've seen all this stuff and this is what we start in here and this is how we do it and the, the equipment we use to do so okay and so first of all like I said we take a throwaway room and use it second of all We've bought this wire shelf, okay? It's a it's a four-tiered, four foot long, 18 inch wide wire shelf. Okay, and we've got different tiers, so we've got so we can plant several times here, okay? Bottom tier, we may have to use it eventually. Um, but it's right now it's got our dirt mixer in it. I got our, our extra dirt um and our spray bottle that you can pick up tractor supply, the absolute best spray bottle you can get. Spray bottle is for spraying down the dirt to help help the germination and here again, now we have seed mats, okay? We have four seed mats. This is a heat mat, actually, seedling heat mat. We have four of those, and we use those specifically for um, heating up the dirt for germination of the seeds, okay? Like, for instance, right here you'll see we have, this is our peppers, okay? They're covered, and, they're trying, and we're trying to get them to germinate, and we can see here we have, we have the heat mats on under them, okay? And... So there's, we have one under each of these trays. That's what we use to heat the dirt. Okay, so we have four of those. Um, then you see these little, these little black, these little black trays. Um, people use them to grow microgreens in also, also, but we're using them just for water reserve and to hold the cups in and things like that. <clears throat> um, you can buy those on Amazon too. We will link all of these things from Amazon in the description below. Okay, we've. Uh, we bought everything here from Amazon, I'm pretty sure, um, over the course of time. So, we'll link all these things in the description below in case you want to check them out for yourself, okay? Next, I think we'll go to these, to these clamp grow lights because that's what we've... Those are the first grow lights we bought with these, were these clamp ones, okay? I'm going to turn them on for just a second show you how they operate. Real, real, real quick, going to be careful of that because I don't want to blind you. So, you can turn them on. You can see they turn on there. They can switch bright, different colors. Brightness levels right here to get dimmer. There's three prongs, and you can turn them off like that. So I, I tried to do that really quickly. Um, just don't want to be, don't want to blind anybody with the brightness of it. But you can the deal with those clamp lights is they turn on or they can clamp on here. Okay, they have three arms. They're bendable. Okay, They're the first grow lights that we used. Um, so they do that. Also here, you can see the settings power, different brightness settings, um, different color settings for different um, wavelengths of light. And it also is UB, U, USB powered if you want to. It has a plug-in as well. But um, also they have a timer. That's one of the big things about these is they have a timer on to where you can set them to come on at a certain time and go off at a certain time. And that's one thing that really helped us out. We just outgrew them. We have, a, we have three or four of those. Uh, we just outgrew them and we're going to use those if we have to, but those aren't what we're using now. Uh, we may have to use them eventually, but for right now we're not using them. We have these other lights set up. We just bought these this year. These little chain grow lights, okay? You see here they're four foot long. That's the reason we got the four foot long shelf is that these can hang up from the wire above them. And so we use these now. We'll turn them on right here. We'll show you. They have a little thing right here. Pull them, see? 
and we'll turn them off real fast. Again, don't want to do it too long. The light may be a little weird, <clears throat> but so they, they have a little pull string. We'll leave them on 12 hours a day. They're just, off, they're just off right now for the video and they link together. So you can link up to like eight of them together. They'll go right here and they'll link together right here. And that way you only have one cord going into the wall. Uh, you can link them together. So we have the, these, these on this level linked together and these two on this level linked together. We use this again, we'll rotate in and out. So we start the, we'll use it and we'll start the, uh, like we started the brassicas first, cabbages, kales. And so once they're on the heat mat, or once they, when they're on the heat mat first, and once we've, once they've uh, come off of the heat, from the, once they've germinated, we'll take those heat mats, use them for the peppers, okay? And so then once the heat peppers are done and germinated, it should be time for tomatoes. We do our peppers first. Well, we have videos for all, for these, for starting these, these two specific seeds, um, which we will link in the description. And so we, we only have four heat mats and we use those four heat mats in succession, rotation, okay. And oh, we also use plastic wrap. You can, you'll, you can see that in our seed starting video while we do that, um, just for humidity and it's cheaper. You can scale these things down by the way, okay. You don't have to, if you don't need to start 300 plants, you can scale that down. You can buy a smaller shelf, you can buy these smaller grow lights, you know, like this, instead of the big four foot long ones. If you don't need four at a time, they make, they sell them in two packs. We bought them in a four pack. Um, they sell them individually if you just want one. And, but these grow lights are what, are what's working great. As you can see right here, our plants have started really well. Um, oh, also, hey, cover these little cups. We use these cups. They're cheap little cups you can buy at Amazon. Um, and like a hundred, hundred, 110 pack. And we use them for the smaller, uh, plants. We'll use them for basically everything we start except for the tomatoes and peppers and eggplant. Those are bigger plants. So smaller plants, squashes, melons, cabbages, kale that we're starting. Uh, we use these smaller, cheaper cups because they use less dirt. And we use regular plain drinking cups for our larger plants, peppers, tomatoes, eggplant. Okay. Uh, that should be everything we cover. Again, you can scale it down. Um, if you, you can make it bigger by getting another shelf, but this is our setup. It's worked well. It's great. Um, it's a, yeah, maybe a little investment sometimes for some people, but you can scale it to where you want it. You can need a smaller setup. You can buy a smaller setup. Use the same kind of wire shelving. We have, a, we actually have a three tier wire shelf that's smaller. Um, and these, these right here, these work great until we just simply outgrow them. Okay. So they're fantastic setup. If you're looking to start seeds in for a backyard homestead, like we do, or in a small space where you just want to grow a lot of food, like we do then this is an absolute fantastic setup that you need to try make a little investment into it invest in yourself and in, in your future and in your own sustainability and, and uh, food independence i appreciate you guys watching my name is jason this has been art creation homestead we love you guys god bless you and goodbye